What's up, YouTube? Mr. Lamessi here, and today we're going to be talking about the physical Boazon. So there were some buffs that were given over to this character with some added physical damage. And we're just going to go ahead and jump in and take a look at uh, how she performs. So we're going to look at two different kinds of Boazons right here. The first one is going to be a uh, super... Bring that down. A kind of a super twinked one. That really is just maxed out, and here you can see Multishot now has the 12% damage per level from Guided Arrow. Um, and then Guided Arrow also has a Multishot synergy right there. So they've added that synergy to boost up the physical damage. And this character is using just kind of all the max gear with her 320s and her 14s. Uh, she's got the 45-120, Fortitude, and this character is using the wind force with a hydra um uh, or a faith mercenary uh right here as opposed to running faith herself and then using a pride mercenary or anything like that but you can see this damage from multi-shot is pretty disgusting already right there um, a 12k guided arrow as well really has some decent damage with that nice boost and we are using atmas here instead of high lords i would personally probably use high lords but this character file just came with such so very expensive right here and this is just kind of running around p1 and honestly still kind of performs pretty similar i would say to what you expect from um one right there however where I do believe she does improve is if you go up to something like player 7 and we'll go over here to where stuff hasn't spawned yet and kill some things we should not quite there we go now it's on p7 um, she can she can kill fairly decently right so this is all p7 spawn right here and uh with top end gear doing pretty decent let me go get arrows really fast should have done that before we started this it's okay she definitely has some viability now what? What? Well, that's new. I guess when they fixed that spawn, they didn't... They didn't fi fix it? Hmm. That's good to know. Um, but yeah. Players 8, Chaos Sanctuary. She kind of, she kind of does all right. She kind of slaps through it. I'm not mad at all um, with her, with her damage right here. But this is pretty dang maxed out. We have to once again remember. So I think it'll be good to now back off because I'm sure a majority of you are saying, "Cool, that's great and all," but this character is like legit, almost perfect. Um, what does she actually kind of look like? And I think that's totally fair. So, we can bounce out of that. And go down here to our Amazon. And this one is a little less geared. So this has none of that the damage charms whatsoever, which is a big part of a character. She still does have a Faith, a Fortitude, Giamis, High Lords, you know. She still has some okay stuff. But definitely a lot lot less going on for this character and we can just run out here she's also stacked more into vitality than dexterity and this is p1 right here 
and she doesn't have any life leech or anything. So this definitely is a big drop down in terms of character strength. And we can see, still okay. However, definitely less so, right? Still kind of runs in. This is players one, this is online. This is players one right here. Um, definitely less so, definitely loses some of that nice damage. Uh, and not gonna be quite as good. But still not terrible overall, I would say, right? So you can see that there's still definitely a slight boost. Our multi-shot does up to 2,000 on this one right here. So that's helpful there. Um, but it definitely, it definitely feels not as great and the problem that you have to look at still with all of it is you have to say cool but this is still with a faith a fortitude high lords right this still has a very strong build and so while she is much less than you would normally have a lot of people aren't even gonna have this good of gear on this character so what happens if you don't have you know that faith right how does this work with a Lycanders and I will just put on a random armor, but like, you know, some random armor. Right, what is what does it look like at this point? I think is is the question and stuff to ask. And we can go out and look and kind of see. And you know, it's playable. Right? You have 700 multi-shot damage there. We got Diablo spawning. Interesting. It's not terrible. No mercenary as well, so we're not getting that might aura from an Act 2 mercenary. It's basically okay, but I think this is not a terrible place for it to be. Because something that you have to really think about is the physical on before really struggled a lot. Really did not do a ton um, and unless you were running, like, an upped gold strike, maybe an upped Bereza, or, you know, like, a couple things, she just really had trouble killing a lot of stuff. And so I'd say that, like, being able to use something like a Lycanders, or, you know, and this still has a couple things that are nice, but definitely less gear. You can get all of this gear that this character is wearing right here for under an Istrun. Maybe, like, take the High Lords off. But, like, people give this away for free. This can be, like, Pole. That can be Lem. You know, like, you can get a Lem, whatever, right? You can get all this gear for pretty cheap. And she is viable, and there's still plenty of stuff that you can find. And on a solo playthrough, I'll definitely have a solo playthrough of this character. Um, you know, I, I think, yeah, a lot of people would give all this stuff away. It's still going to be a little bit of a struggle, but I think the character is going to have some possibility of being played through and being slightly okay. With max gear, I mean, I think it's going to be, you know, in the A tiers, but it's just so expensive as physical bosons always have been. Um, without that, I mean, I think she comes in at a low B tier again, which I'm okay with. Maybe a high C tier because, again, she still is a little bit gear dependent. You're still going to need to find a few different things to make her kind of viable. Um you know, I think is is kind of the main piece right there, right? But we're not running amazing gear. She's still doing okay, still hitting all right. Getting a little mana leech from man or from manald or something like that would be really nice. Uh, yeah. So I don't know. I think it's a it's a nice buff. I think PvP it's gonna make her super strong, with the exception of people who know how to like fight against weapon swap. Uh, or, you know, there's no good weapon swap glitch, so people who know how to fight against a Boazon, she's still gonna suffer, but in, like, more casual PvP, I think she's gonna be really strong with all that gear for just those insane guided arrows. But, I mean, in, a uh, area level 85 out here, she's doing okay. 
She's doing okay. I think I think it's a nice buff to have that little bit extra damage. I think it will help down at that lower level. Um, just to just to get a little bit more added in, you know. So I I think it's decent, a nice buff. I'm not sure if I would go much more. I mean, the 75% weapon damage does hurt a little bit. Um, and again, it might still hurt at that lower, lower level. But maybe if you're in the, like, mid-range of it, uh, once you get to, like, level 40, 50, things like that when you're doing a playthrough, even level, like, 30 to 40, I think it'll really start to gain some of that added damage boost, and that'll really help out the character and really be nice. So... Yeah, overall, probably low B tier, high C tier, um, just because of the gear requirements. Once you really max out on gear, high A tier, probably, somewhere around there. That's kind of my thoughts. Uh, plenty of optimization. Th this is probably the most expensive character you'll build when you really max her out, just because everything gets so ridiculous and and all of this stuff um and you know there are more expensive characters ultimately if you're going for crazy perfect items but yeah uh yeah so that's the boson i think she definitely needed a little bit of a boost um and i really hope that for playthrough purposes it really does help out i think it'll still be slow overall you're gonna get more out of the elemental but it's working in the right direction and uh, gives her a little bit of fun along the way there. So, with that being said, I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts. If you've played around, played with different, you know, gear and stuff on this character and how it's worked for you, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace, YouTube.